AMC's new Who Wants to Be a Millionaire miniseries quiz. They released episode one last night on AMC, but if you go to their website, they actually released all three episodes already. So Quiz is a three-episode miniseries that aired in the UK back in April. The premise, Quiz tells the story of how Charles Ingram, a former army major in the Royal Engineers, unexpectedly won the one million pound jackpot on the quiz show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? In 2001, followed by a criminal trial in which he and his wife were convicted of cheating their way to the success. So like I said, it's now airing on AMC. All three episodes dropped last night. We watched episode one, and I thought we could just give our thoughts on the episode. Adam, why don't you go ahead, your overall just reaction. So here's the best comparison I can make, which is uh, probably all three of us, we've all seen an episode of like NCIS or Law and Order at some point, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, or, Or House. Those shows, it's not like the greatest writing ever. It's not the best acting ever each they're kind of forgettable overall but the strength of the plots within each episode they're designed to hook you in and make you want to keep watching to know what happens next so i found that this series its greatest strength was just the true story that it was covering and so the acting wasn't amazing the writing wasn't amazing it did have its moments of of humor and i like some points were actually pretty clever Mm -hmm. overall the quality wasn't the best, but the story is so interesting that it's it's very entertaining. It's probably a bit more entertaining than just reading the Wikipedia article about what happened. Right. When you said that last night, I thought that put it the best way you can put mm-hmm. it, which is it was marginally more entertaining than going to Wikipedia and just reading the whole story about how these people cheated on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So, yeah, I want to echo a lot of what you said. Entertaining, pretty interesting But that's not because it's a great written show or a greatly acted show, but because the underlying story is interesting. It starts with the creation of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and I found myself wondering why they felt the need to start with that. It was a sort of 20 to 25 minute cramming this story in, and it was moving so quickly that I didn't find myself invested in any of the characters. It was more of a, oh, I didn't even realize who wants to be a millionaire started in the UK. Or, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know it was originally called Cash Mountain. Yeah. But it never elevated beyond, oh, these are some interesting pieces of trivia. There were some attempts at developing the characters, but like I said, it felt so crammed and so overly edited to just try and skip through this story, it felt like for some reason they thought they had to tell the entire story of the creation of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire before they got to the interesting part. And like I keep saying, I don't know why they felt like they needed to do that. The most interesting part of the story is these people cheated during Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It it feels especially unnecessary given the whole world knows what Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is. So right. I don't know how much context you need. Now, that said, to put this comment into context, we, we've we still only seen that first episode. So maybe if we watch the next two, we'll, we'll say, oh, that's why they gave us so much backstory. But right, I have right. my doubts. <laughs> yeah, so far, my thought is the 20 to 30 minutes we spent on the creation of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire would have been better invested in developing the characters, developing Charles, his wife, and uh, her brother, yeah, Diana and Adrian. Because one of the big driving forces of the story is Adrian being severely in debt. Mm-hmm. And that was very underdeveloped. You basically have, oh, yeah, my brother's really in debt. Cut to, I need to run away because I'm so far in debt. I owe all these people money. And A, it's hard to take any of it seriously because so many of the jokes are so over the top. For example, the shadowy organization of people who are all teaming up to cheat on who wants to be a millionaire. Some of that's real, but it's played on the show as sort of a joke. So it's kind of hard to take seriously. And that's only further exacerbated by the fact that they're spending so little time with these characters. So I didn't get invested in them. And even for the 20 to 30 minutes where we're seeing the creation of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, so much of it felt just like familiar beats we've seen before. Like, this show is a crazy idea. You want to give away a million dollars on TV? What are you nuts? Wait a minute. There might actually be something mm-hmm. to this. Wow, this could actually work. Yeah, just stuff we've seen. Or, or so like many a- times after before. the pilot first airs, and then the two guys, the creative minds behind this show, 
go to the guy who needs to put the stamp of approval on it. And they're like, uh, we're, we're so sorry. It could have gone better. We should have done this. We should have done that. We promise. And then he goes and he interrupts him and he goes, we want uh, to order a week's worth of episodes. It's like, you right. know, that's what he's going to say. And then, you know, he's going to say, you just got to do something about that name. Yeah. At that yeah. point, it was still Cash Mountain. <laughs> then you have the executives bringing the show's concept to America mm -hmm. and the uh, executive from America gets on his hands and knees and thanks them for this amazing show. So, uh, you know what? Yeah. Just to, one other bone I have to pick with it was uh, <laughs> they make a point of saying, well, you got to change that name, Cash Mountain. And then they just cut to the next scene. They're redoing the set of the show. And some random guy who's working on the lights is j just working on the lights. And he just goes, <laughs> who wants to be a millionaire? And, 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 and out of nowhere. The idea yeah. And they're the like, ah, we'll just take the exact song he whistled and the exact words he said and make that the show. Right. What and if, again, if oh yeah, go ahead. what if that's actually how it happened? Then they should have portrayed it in a more believable <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, it's it felt like we need to be efficient with the storyline. We've got to tell people every beat of how Who Wants yeah. to Be a Millionaire got created, but we only have 20 minutes to do it. And it's like, guys, take a step back. You don't need to tell us. That, so you don't yeah. need the efficient storytelling of the guys whistling, and that's how they get the idea. Right. That scene was like in, in Family Guy when Peter Griffin gets caught doing something, but he needs to come up with a fake name. So he looks around him, and he sees someone eating a pea, and he goes, uh, a pea, and he sees a girl crying, and he goes, a tear, <laughs> then a griffin flies through, and he goes, griffin. Yeah, Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So bottom line, we were pretty hard on the show, but overall, I mean, it was enjoyable. If you're looking for something to watch, you know, you've watched all the shows you're behind on, and you just want to entertain yourself for a couple of hours. It will get the job done. It's intriguing. It's intriguing, but honestly, I probably won't stick around for episodes two and three, but I probably will read the Wikipedia, yeah. and I forget all the details of how they cheated, and the show has at least piqued my interest to revisit that story. Yeah, that's the thing also. We... We've already seen, it was either like a Dateline episode or 60 Minutes or something years ago that explained this whole thing. So if you already know how they cheated and everything that happened, it takes some of the suspense away. Right. That's right. Well, that's AMC's quiz.